Hi. Welcome to the Be Somebody deconstruction video. Let's go outside. So, I will be deconstructing my song and I will explain what it means in depth. Okay, so sit back and enjoy. Grab a snack or something. So the song starts off with, I get a new thing, I get something new. All of a sudden, see, you got it too. It's not me, it's a you thing, a thing that you do. But then, when I say something, you act confused. This is the first verse, and basically, it's pretty straightforward. Um, when I wrote this song, uh, I don't know why I was like so frustrated with people, you know? buying the same things I did or getting the same things I had or whatever but that's what was the case in that time and that was like a year ago so I basically started off the song by saying literally what you hear in the lyrics like I get something and then you go and get the exact same thing and then you act surprised like oh it was just a coincidence like you know it's not so it, I just find it hard to understand why people just don't accept like yeah i like your style so i went and got the same thing as you did because you looked cool in it or whatever so yeah that's kind of like what that's about you know it's pretty straightforward and they say you act like it's news yeah i'm just amused i swear people think that we buy shit in twos i got it you get it then i regret it yeah you want to be me but you won't admit it so in this part of the song you know i get a little a little frisky, a little, you know, heated about the topic. But basically what I just said is that I don't get why, like, people, you know, it's normal that you find inspiration in, in what others do and what others wear or say, whatever they do. I take, you know, inspiration from many people as well as those people take inspiration from others. So it's just an endless chain, so why not embrace it? I swear people think that we buy shit in twos, like, it's all the same, and they won't admit it, which makes it just ten times more frustrating, because they're like, oh, it was just a coincidence, I totally didn't know she was wearing that shirt, and I got it, you know, it's like, come on, just embrace it, girl, it's fine, but yeah. So, next up, I go... Ooh, I'm the real thing. You on some fake shit. You love to talk big when you can take it. You got a problem, not here to solve it. Keep it in your lane. You better keep it to yourself. In the pre, what I'm saying is basically that, like I said before, it's fine that you take inspiration on other people because we all do one way or another. But when you, you know, don't have a confidence to accept that and it just becomes like a an issue like when you're like no i'm not trying to become somebody else you know it's it's a problem that i'm not here to solve for them they have to you know realize it for themselves so i'm not trying to you know like bash them or anything but it's like you have your own problems that you need to solve because there's a point where it's inspiration from somebody else and then it becomes you know an identity crisis <laughs> So that's what I was saying there. And then the chorus is, you know there's no need to act like someone else, need to be yourself or you to be somebody. Sometimes it just feels like you don't know yourself. Why you look at me when you could be somebody? Be somebody, be somebody, be, be, be somebody. <laughs> so the, the chorus is, you know, lighter um, in comparison to the first verse and the pre. And the, in the course, I'm just letting the person know, like, you know, it's fine um, that you, you know, seek, like I've said many times, inspiration in other places. But leave it at just that, you know, inspiration. You don't have to become somebody else in order to feel like you're someone. You know, being yourself is plenty. It's enough. And I just tried to make the song, like, kind of... A wake-up call for those people that feel like they're losing themselves and their true identity and their true colors like 
you don't need to try to act like someone or something you're not in order to be seen as interesting or, you know, something like that. What are really trying to do? So that was what I was saying in the chorus. And that's the message I wanted I want people to take from the song, not the negative aspect of it, but the positive one. And the second verse, finally, it says, and oh, in the end, at the end of the day, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to say I'm always on your side, but I miss the way that you used to give more than you used to take. So this one is also a, li a little lighter than the first half of the song. Here I'm just saying like, hey, listen, I'm here for you. I am here to support you and I will always, you know, hype you up. I'm not here to put you down. And I recognize that, you know, sometimes you feel like you, you're not enough and you therefore have to try to become someone you're not. But I'm here to tell you that, you know, being yourself is perfect and that's why I love you. And yeah, that's kind of what I wanted people to take away from this song. In conclusion, the song is just a positive message for people that feel like they don't know who they truly are. If you don't know who you are, you feel lost and you're trying to, you know, make yourself feel like somebody, you know, being yourself is just enough. You don't have to go and force, you know, a personality that isn't true to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys understood the song a little more with this video. And yeah, love you all. See you soon. Look how pretty this guy is. All right. You don't have to act like someone else.